Suppose you are offered two jobs in sales. The first job offers $100 per week of 20% commission on any item that you sell. The second job offers a salary of $500 per week plus 10% commission. So let's look at this first job here. So how much money would you make at the first job if you sold absolutely nothing? So the first job gives you $100. So you're going to have $100 plus 20% of the items. So if you sell nothing, then you're not going to make any commission whatsoever, and you're just going to make your $100. Okay, let's say you did uh, sell something. Let's say you sold 1000 So you're still going to make your 100 and then you're going to make 20% of 1000 Okay, 20%, if you want to put that in your calculator, you usually treat that as a decimal. So 20% is the same thing as 0 0.20. So in our calculator, we can do 100 plus 0 0.20 times 1,000. So he's going to make 300. Or you are going to make 300. Okay, so let's try to generalize this. Let's find the slope-intercept equation for the first job, where x is going to represent the number of sales. So in the slope-intercept equation, that means we're going to have y equals mx plus b. Okay, the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So in other words, when you sell nothing, that's your y-intercept. So that's what we did in part a. So when we sold nothing, then our y-intercept was 100. So B is going to be 100. Okay, now take a look at what we did in part B. If X was the number of sales, and they happened to be 1,000, what we did was take 20% of 1,000. So in other words, 20% is going to be your slope. So put this all together. So Y is going to equal 0.20X plus your 100. You can check that pretty quick. So if I sell nothing, x is 0, so you get 100. If I sell 1,000, you're going to take 20% of 1,000 plus 100. That's exactly what we did in Part B. Let's do the same thing for the second job. So the second job is $500 per week plus 10% of items. So let's see how much money you would make if you sold nothing. So if you sell nothing, you're not going to get any commission. So you're going to get 500 so if you sell nothing, you're going to get 500. So this is going to be the y-intercept. So the x is 0, you still make 500. Okay, let's say you sell $1,000. Let's see what the second job is going to pay you. So you're still going to get 500, and then you're going to get 10% of 1,000. Okay, so 500 plus 0 0.10 times 1,000 you're going to make 600. So it seems like the second job is better for the time being. So let's generalize this into a slope-intercept equation. So again, the y-intercept is going to be 500 because you sold nothing, so you still get 500. And then this time your slope is going to be the 10%, and then whatever x is. And part e it was 1,000, but that can be anything. So y is going to be 0.10x plus 500. Again, you can check it to make sure that's right. So if you sell nothing, x is 0, so you still get 500. If you sell $1,000, you do 10% of 1,000 plus 500. So everything matches what we did in the previous two. So let's tie all this together. So how much in sales would you need for both jobs to be the same? So you get the same amount of money. And then after that, which job would pay you more? So if I want these to be the same, I'm going to just set them equal to each other. So I'm going to set what I did in Part C which was the slope-intercept equation for the first job, we're going to set that equal to part F, which is the slope-intercept equation for the second job. So 0.20x plus 100, so this is the first job, is going to equal 0.10x plus 500, so that's the second job. So we're trying to figure out when there's a thing. Okay, so this is just a linear equation, really nothing crazy going on here. I have an x on the left and an x on the right, so I need to get those x's together. So I'm going to subtract the 0.10x from both sides. So on the left side, we're going to have 0.10x. 
So if I'm correct and you just subtract the 100, you get 0 0.10x by itself, so that gives me 400. And then still solving for x, I need to divide it. Okay, so 400 divided by 0.1 is 4,000. So if you make $4,000 in sales, the first job will be the same thing as the second job. So let's see which one pays more. So let's say you can say, let's say you can sell more than 4,000. So let's say if x was 5,000. Let's just see which one is better. So in the first job, you would have 0 0.20 of 5,000 plus your 100. Let's see what that is. So 20% of 5,000 plus 100 is 1,100. In the second job, you're going to only get 10% of that 5,000, but you're going to get 500 on top of that. So that's less. So even though you get more of a weekly salary, the more you sell, the better the first job is going to be.